Hey, what's up guys? It's been a couple days since my last video, but today I want to talk about uh, trial by fire. And uh, I see, uh, I noticed that a lot of people have a hard time with trial by fire. Uh, so I decided to do, uh, this is going to be two videos. So today, uh, on this video, I'm going to talk about the blast stage or the infantry range in cav stage. And then on the next video, which probably going to be live tomorrow, I'm going to talk about the mix stage, which as you can tell, it's a lot harder to do. But in order to understand uh, trial by fire, uh, really you need to understand the blast stage because on the mix stage, most of the time, the solution will be to to go with a, a blast or a spear formation in order to counter the, um, the front line. So basically, I wanna go over uh, each of the, the stage. So there's infantry, range, and cav. And so when you're doing infantry stage, you want to set your, uh, you basically you want to counter that infantry, right? This is obvious. So how should you do that? Well, you should have at the very least four cav heroes. So as you can see, I have four cav heroes because you can only have four heroes that will proc the, um, the tactics. And then your fifth hero should be an hero that provides uh, your best boost that you can get. So in that case, I do have Watcher, uh, so I can get an extra 20 attack and 25 HP. And this is better than if I was to put another cab hero, which would give me 50% defense. So obviously, the uh, 25 and 20% is obviously better than 50% defense in that case. So this is what you should be doing. If you don't have Watcher, Let's see, you don't have Watcher. My suggestion uh, is you should go with uh, Bombing Goblin. So you could get the 20% attack. 20% attack is better, slightly better than 50% defense that you could get from uh, this guy. I don't, I don't know what's his name, Sage of Storm. So I'll go with Watcher. Um, next up, your familiars. Okay, so if and you're if you're free to play, there's a couple. Uh, you may not have all the familiars. Uh, obviously, you want to have um, the familiars that are uh, like in, in that case, it's for Cav. So, uh, uh, what's this called? Griffin. Griffin is really good for all stages because it procs at ten percent. Uh, but then the next one you want to have uh, for if you're going for um, a cav blast, obviously you want to have uh, this guy. It's it's the goblin, and you want this guy. I don't know why. Yeah, we don't see their names, but whatever. Uh, this gives us 20, 15% uh, cav attack, and then this guy procs by 100% when 10% of your cav uh, fallen, and it procs, so you can get more than once. Now, if you don't have these. Uh, my suggestion is when you start, uh, Evil Weevil and Quiris are pretty good because they can be used on each type of blast. So um, if you don't want to go straight into blast, into familiar uh, geared toward blast, you can start with these guys and then later on work on these. But this would kind of be uh, the best thing. Now, this is not really the, the third best hero. I don't... Uh, third best familiar I don't I have not started uh, to work on um, let me show you uh, which ones I want to oh, I, I will need to say this um, so there has been an update and obviously if you're free to play you got a slow roll them but basically I would be going with I think it's Nasrus Nasrus with the army talent gives me yeah, uh, all the way to 10, 60% attack and 60% HP for 15 seconds when 5% of my troops are fallen. So this is really good. Uh, that would be uh, the third one that I would be using. If you're free to play, you're most likely only have three slots, maybe four. Uh, so that's why I'm saying that. But um, if we go back here. And now as far as the troops. So uh, regardless of... of if you're a T2, T3, T4, T5, you re really you want to send uh, like um, four four units of buffer of each type, and then your blast unit. So, and the reason for that is if you go to the um, uh, the phalanx, I would be I would be going with range phalanx. So my four units will will die on the first on the first uh, attack from the uh, the enemy and then my uh, four infantry will fall on the second attack 
so basically I'm saving uh, I'm saving a bunch of losses so I'm only giving eight units that die uh, in the f first two attacks and that gives me plenty of time to get to the wall kill the wall and then start working on them so uh, otherwise um, if, if I put my uh, cab at the front before I kill the wall because it's gonna walk I'm gonna be losing more than that so that's the purpose of uh, buffer units um, I know people put like 69 and 100, 1,000, 5,000. Uh, if you're doing that, if you're doing more than four, you're just giving out, um, you're, you're giving losses. Uh, and at the end of the day, in order for you to win the stage, you just need to have more kills than what the um, the tile can give you. So, and that's the the core principle of uh, fighting of uh, combat in uh, Lords Mobile is to basically get more kills than the uh, enemy gives you. So, uh, so yeah. So this is how you would do it. Now, for the talents, uh, you just have to do auto configure for uh, Blast Stage. Uh, the system will, well, especially if you're uh, full talents, if like me, le level 60, uh, it it'll give, it'll select, it'll auto select everything from Cav. So there's no reason to uh, play with your talents. Uh, that's going to be different with mixed stage. And as far as equipment, yes, you gotta obviously have your best equipment. Sometimes it's it. Sometimes it means uh, you will have. Sometimes you'll see, uh, so the way that I'm Jewel, I have some equipment that are not really for um, uh, for Cav. Uh, if, if we look here, uh, my um, this would give me, uh, this is where my Jewels are, but sadly this is not where I'm, I'm I have the better uh, stats for Cav. So in that case, that's why I, I see some weird stuff. Same thing, where, same thing here my uh, cav attack jewels are not in my drums uh, but they still give me the best um, the best result if i was to uh, choose one of my cups like this one for instance as you can see i would get two percent more cav attack but i would lose 22 percent defense and 5.5 percent hp which is not worth it guys so uh yeah you gotta make sure you have the best equipment uh and as you uh, grow your equipment obviously you need to um uh, swap it for better ones as far as this guy I, um, I with the army defense and army HP as well as the jewel that I have in there I'm getting a better result than if I was going with the um, where would I be getting a better result uh, it's uh, it's arguable <laughs> it's probably on par but uh, yeah make sure you get the best equipment so that that's how you would do it um, basically, the, the blast stage are really easy to do, as you can see, uh, 11,600. Uh, the maximum at this time, and I'm not saying that as of today people have reached that state, but uh, the last update I re recall, it was 12,000 stages. So we're closing in. I think I may have missed a couple of them. If I look on my main on my phone, which you guys cannot see, I know that on my main I have not missed a day. Yeah, I, I basically have 50 more stage on my main uh, compared to this one. Uh, now, if I'm going to move over to range, uh, range is going to be different. So, uh, and I cannot give you an example on, on this because I'm currently maxed out. But on range, so you want to have uh, a range. If you have Watcher, you'll want to have uh, five infantry heroes. Um, basically, uh, I get, let's unselect everything so uh, the the first one is always watcher if you have it because it's it's the best one i believe is it the best one no it's not the best one for infantry for infantry uh Oath keeper and uh this guy demon slayer are better because if you look at what they provide 50 percent 30 percent infantry and then same thing for this guy 50 percent 30 percent while watcher gives you 20 percent and 25 percent so it's not as good for infantry but it's better in a mixed set. It's better uh, when you're uh, getting attacked. But it's still it's still better than uh, the alternative. So these are the three best ones. And then you would go with uh, with this guy, which gives 30%. And you would go with this guy, which gives another 30%. I see a lot of people, they use Rose Knight. 
Rose Knight is really good if you don't have Watcher, but if you do have Watcher, don't use Rose Knight. And the reason is, let's say I don't have a uh, Watcher. Um, well, that's, yeah. So basically, when you want to compare a Rose Knight, you need to compare Rose Knight to one of the last one you picked. So these guys give me 30% attack, okay? And then Rose Knight will give me 20% attack. So it's a no-brainer. You got to go uh, with these two guys. If you don't have Watcher, then in that case, you select all these four. And then you go with uh, Rose Knight or, uh, or, or, or a Bombing Goblin. Uh, which would provide basically the same thing uh, because at the end of the day, the cat HP would only work for the buffer and for uh, infantry, you don't really need to send buffer. So I would select this. Now, as far as my uh, setup for um, for familiars, uh, I have the Griffin. Griffin is basically one of the, the only ones that is free to play that you can use your red orbs. So uh, that's why it's going to be used every time. And it's really hard to get those uh, those pack four and then those pack five familiars um, to elder and then to use your yellow orb. So it's it's one of the easiest one to do. And it's good. It's good for blast stage. It's good for uh, when you're attacking. Now, as far as the, the, the other familiars, I have this guy uh, with the Gemming Gremlin. It's not maxed. Uh, I'm working on this guy. Uh, and as you can see, I'm using also uh, Evil Weevil. Uh, Aquarius is also good. I, I know someone commented on one of my videos that Evil Weevil, it's better to have higher HP than to have the um, enemy uh, have lowered HP. I'm, I, I don't know really uh, if it's true or not, but I, I believe it. it the, the argument made sense. I don't have any. I don't have the fifteen percent one, and I've not started working on the uh, on the sixty percent. Um, I don't know which which one it is for this guy. I think it's the mole shaman. But in that case, you want to uh, if you don't have any uh, infantry specific ones. Uh, Evil Weevil and Aquarius are good, so that's how it's set up. And as you can see, I don't have any buffer on this one, uh, which is normal because at the end of the day, you want to have your uh, your infantry at the front because they walk so slowly. You want to make sure they're really close to the wall and start attacking it right away because if you do the buffer method, it's going to take like 12 seconds for them to march to the wall and you're just gonna lose the fight it's so you 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 want to get you want to have an edge on that same thing talents auto configured oh there we go i got one more point since i, I checked that uh and same thing with the equipment make sure you have the best equipment you can uh, sometimes it'll mean having equipment with no jewels in that case uh when uh once i get this to gold i'm pretty sure it's going to be better uh, because I'm comparing basically, is it? Yeah. I think this would be better because it's third. So I would be, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining like 5.5% attack and I'm losing 6% defense. Yeah, I'm going with this. I don't know why, uh, why I had this. This, uh, I think my, I think my, my things are not set up properly. So, same thing. I want infantry. I should have this guy. Uh, I've not done this in a long time. Is, would that be better? Um, infantry defense. Yes. Well, I'm losing this. I'm getting this. I think this would be better. And then this is probably... Oh, this would be better. Infantry defense. Yeah. Army defense. 38% yeah. defense would probably be better than what I'm losing on this. I will be doing this and there we go uh, and yeah so so basically that is the way you want to do it for uh, infantry as far as cav stage so cav stage obviously you want to send range it's basically the same concept as uh, I, I think I'm missing a talent point here yeah it's the same concept as um, cav so you want to make sure that you are in a formation where you're See, I, I'm set up this way, but I think I prefer this way. I prefer a cav wedge. So I think it's like three attacks that you save with your buffer if you're doing it that way. Um, basically, you want to have four uh, ranged heroes. Make sure you get the best stats 
Uh, there's uh, like three range heroes that give you a, a, a dual bonus, like Tracker, Snow Queen, um, Black Crow, another dual bonus, and then you have the single bonus from Death Archer. And then the last hero, in that case, I would have uh, Watcher, but if you don't have Watcher, like I said, um, in that case, either Bombing Goblin or uh, Rose Knight would work. Uh, I know people will say, well, you can only have four heroes, range heroes, and then for the tactics, it's true. The last hero only, basically, the last hero you're looking for, the boost, the stats. So in that case, both Rose Knight at 20% and Bombing Goblin at 20% would give you the same stats. Rose Knight would proc the tactics, but if you're sending only four buffer units, they would die before she procs the tactics, and then the tactics would only work on basically 25% of the troops, one squad, and it's one troop. So one troop times 200% means nothing. Um, basically that 200% that squad attack, yeah. Uh, if you don't understand these concepts, I suggest you go watch some of the Crystal Briefs videos I mean, the, he explains it really well, uh, <laughs> and it's not my it's not my forte, uh, but basically that's how you want to do it. You want to have four heroes for your blast and one for your stats. Sometimes it means that it's like for myself in infantry. That means I have five infantry heroes, but for the other blasts, I have four of the type and one. Um, one one that is watcher because it's he's just the best one. Um, okay, so let's confirm that. As far as the the, um, the familiars, you want to have, if you can, go with the blast. So that means a griffin, that means uh, trickstar, uh, which is maxed. And I do have this guy, which I, I don't know why we don't have the, the name of the familiar there. But uh, it's a good one. Now, if, if I had the, yeah, it's this guy I'm starting to work on. Um, is it Magus or is it the other guy? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it matters, but it's this guy, uh, which once once he's going to be around, I think, five or six, I'm going to swap them because this guy is way better. Um, as you can see, this is a guaranteed 15% throughout the fight, while this is 8.4, uh, 8.4 8 for only two seconds. So that, yeah, that's not worth it. So when once it's get to like 20% uh, for like five, six seconds. I think it's gonna be better, but uh, it's gonna take a while until I get there. Uh, but that's how you wanna set up the blast. And then same thing, you wanna put uh, four units of infantry, four units of cav uh, as buffer so that they take the first two to three attacks. In that case, I believe it's three attacks because the first attack is gonna knock out these two and then the second one, I think it's gonna knock out these four and then another attack to knock out these last line. Uh, and by the time you get there, the wall is killed and, and you, you've started hitting them. Uh, so that, that's the purpose of buffer. So um, that's why you want to put four and four. Like I said, if you put more units, uh, you're, just gonna, you're just giving out kills to the enemy, to the tile or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the purpose of buffer is not to stay alive. It's not to, it's not to get more kills. It's, it's to... Uh, it's to have the enemy hit only four and four and four units until they start hitting the bulk of your troops. So um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if, if I'm clear, but that's how it works. Uh, same thing with the talents. You want to auto configure that when it's you're in blast stage. It's really easy. Uh, equipment, yeah, same thing. Make sure you have the best that you can. Uh, I think yeah, I. See, that's the thing. I have not updated that in a long time. This should have been in my uh, in my uh, set. Uh, do I have anything else? I don't, I don't think. I, th I think I'm. Yeah, I think everything else is good uh, as of now. But yeah, that's. <laughs> see, that's the problem when you keep winning and and sweeping is that you don't really change your your stuff. So as you can see, uh, yesterday I did that. And I have only missed like a hundred something stage, and I'm pro it's probably like before we had the sweep method. So it's completely free to play. I've missed 50 stage probably because I took a day off somewhere, and the range stage 
I don't recall. Maybe I um, maybe I missed some of the stage and I forgot to rearrange my setup. But at, at the point that I am, I have no issue uh, killing. Uh, if you look at what I'm facing in front of me, uh, T5, like a full T5 blast with a bunch of buffers and well, those siege units they don't do anything. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's with T4 and purple purple stuff. You can uh, you can get you can get uh, very far in trial by fire. Uh, completely free to play, so uh, uh, that's basically it for the um, for the blast stage. Um, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Are you guys doing it on a daily basis? Are you stuck somewhere? Obviously, at some point, you're gonna get stuck somewhere. I just want to go and uh, I'm gonna show you my um, I'm gonna show you one of my other account. There we go. Let's put that to the full screen. So that's Langer Five, uh, and so obviously Langer Two Hour Langer is like. Close to a billion might. We're talking about an account that's 550 uh, million might, and basically, uh, I'm only like uh, like a thousand five hundred, yeah, a thousand five hundred stages uh, behind. Uh, a lot uh, farther in the mix stage, which is gonna be covered on the next video. But yeah, uh, like you can get pretty far uh, with like as you can see, I I do have. Uh, oh, that's an auto select here. See, I don't see guys. I don't pay attention to what I'm doing sometimes. So I will go and I will put uh, this guy. Uh, maybe that's going to change something. Uh, as you can see, I don't have my familiars are not. They're not that good. And I sh I'm pretty sure I have orbs I should be working on. Uh, so, but that's why I'm using these two because it's it works for everything. I need to work on these. Um, and then this is set up properly. My talents are set up properly. My equipment, oh, as you can see, guys, this is awful. But this is the best that I got. I have not done any drums on this account. Uh, I've started working on these. It is still better than if I was going with uh, these. So uh, even with bad stuff for my last stage, uh, I, I was still able to get to a, uh, I don't need to change this, and this is set up properly, let's save this, let's see if it makes a difference, see it did not really make a difference, uh, I am somewhat close, 60, 76 percent, let's go, I mean, let's go look at this, so there's a 13, about 13,000 difference uh, that I need to make up for this, so uh, let's say if I, um, if I go and I change this for this guy let's see if it makes a huge difference and yeah 14,000 so it made it made a small difference but not enough but basically it gives us a kind of proof that attack 50% attack is better than 50% defense so I gain about 500 500 kill difference with this so I'm very far at this point on this I need to work on my familiars but basically, that's that's how you want to do it, guys. Uh, same thing with the range stage. This is where I'm at, and as you can see, my uh, my setup is about the same here. See, I have this guy. Um, so is is this at purple better? Like, is eight percent, ten percent? Yeah. So see, I've I've not given um, much love on this account. So obviously, I want to have Rose Knight. Um, if we look at my, if we look, see, I have some green equipment. It is awful. It is a two-year-old account. Uh, maybe I could use this. Uh, I'd be losing 1%, 27% at that. I cannot do this. It's because of the jewels. And these are set up for blast. So that's why I will not change it. But yeah, it's let's see oh it's it's I'm I'm at 50 out, out of 50 I cannot test this maybe tomorrow I'll be able to check it uh, but basically that's what you want to do uh, okay so this is set up properly this I'm, I'm I'm getting I went farther on this one because I have this uh, completely to level 10 so that that's why it's a lot easier um, my equipment is also a is it a lot better it's better is it a lot better not not that much but <laughs> uh, yeah I don't want to change that so 
uh, and as you can see, not a lot of jewels. So even with poor equipment, bad jewels. Oh, I want to save this. Um, I'm still like at 10,600. So there's no reason, guys. There's way too much stuff that you can get from uh, Trial by Fire not to go with this. All right. So that wraps it up for this video. Let me know in the comments below what stage you're at. Uh, are you doing this on a daily basis? Are you changing your equipment, changing your setup uh, to make sure that you are um, up to date and have the best equipment that you can? Uh, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and see you later.